we're seeing you know cloud archives that are inching up from tens to hundreds of terabytes these are many of the same customers that will have petabytes on prem but the cloud has an important role to play so we thought it would be interesting if you could take your cloud storage and apply these same ai techniques that we're applying in in the mem to cloud storage and do it on a very lightweight cost effective basis so that's what we're doing with axel ai cloud uh, we will be announcing it next week and showing it at NAB. There is also a private beta that people can sign up for. And it's essentially a subscription service. You don't have to buy the servers. You don't have to buy the software. You don't have to do all this licensing and deployment. You literally just log in, get a username and password, put in your credit card, and you can manage five terabytes if you want, or 50, and have all of the same AI capabilities on the back end feeding into the cataloging of your S3 compatible buckets. Uh, we've been working particularly closely with uh, Backblaze on this, but essentially it, it, in principle, it can work with any S3 storage. We made an announcement this week with Cloudian who actually have on-premise and hybrid S3 storage. So, um, so Patrice, maybe you can talk a little bit about how this works. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So I've been, slowly giving a little bit of uh, pictures to your commentaries uh, but so yes. let's actually log out uh, what we are simply going to do in this case is index your catalog so or you can upload your media to the cloud and be analyzed and keep it so i could potentially create a new project and just start uploading uploading folders uploading media and just like you would see here i would be able to have my preview, I can create my own set of meta, metadata tag and tag it, have different ways of tagging, but more importantly, have again the AI. So our belief is for people who are already in the cloud or people who need to be in the cloud, they can still enjoy the same searchability and the same, uh, you know, indexing and searchability, but more importantly, Let's say that I want to share these three clips. Oh, I can perform a search. Let's search on a on a, on a let's search on a, on the object Benny, or actually person. Let's search on a person. And that's going to be Lewis. And I'm going to search, find a clip with Lewis Hamilton here, and I decide to share it. And so now I have the possibility to create a very restrictive link. I can be password protected. I can say only people who are part of my workspace can access it, or I can invite more people. But I would, what I'm going to do is just invite Sam to this link. Uh, and I'm just going to remove, uh, uh, I'm going to set an exploration, and that's it. And I'm just going to create the link. Now, an email has been sent to Sam, he's going to receive and say that. You know, he will uh, need to review this link. Uh, for other folks that I send the link to, uh, they will need to enter their name because then there is the possibility to have multiple level of approval here. So I want to reject this clip and I'm going to post a comment as to why. Not sure about this. And so now I have a different comments which I can reply to, but let me download as well the clip so you can also have a download or restricted download. But the reason I'm doing all of that is if I were now to go back to the main interface and I check my review links here that I have created, you will see the F1 interview that I just shared and I can check the report. And I will see that Sam has still not viewed the link. That's okay, we're going to, in some time. <laughs> and if I go to the activities, you will see that who view the clip, who post the comment, and who did download. And you can, of course, select more than one file. So I can go to this one here, check the report for these three clips, where I will see for these three clips who viewed, who posted comment, and who downloaded. So I can have a whole report. So, in a way, we are helping you, we are helping people also be able to share their media. So maybe you have still 
tons of media that doesn't make sense in the cloud, but maybe part of it that makes sense in the cloud that needs to be accessible to other people. And you can do a lot of restriction. I can go to the settings here, change the different roles that I create, change different roles for users that I invite. Where, for example, I have here different level of uh, role as an admin for sweet test before demo one, I said the role can touch this. Uh, uh, which is very restrictive, and you can then invite people with different roles for your different projects. And of course, you can add existing bucket, and that is just going to go through and analyze. Now, any new clip that lands, any new clip that lands here, we are going to have transcription, person, object, logos, OCR, and later on, we are going to also include our scene understanding that will allow you to basically the same level of search that I have been doing in the Axel MAM. I want to be able to do the same kind of, of search where I will have more of a description of what I'm looking rather than knowing specifically the keyword. And that's really where we are going. We are coming with a new way to search your media because not everybody know exactly what keywords or what person or, or what to search for. What I want to do is come in and describe what I need. And then we are coming with the clips, the specific segment of the clip that you will see.